well as uh, the person I'd like to introduce our uh, board president, uh, Reverend Peggy Bernhard. She is um, uh, passing out our handouts. Um, and while she's doing that, I'll go ahead and begin. Um, so the Pastoral Counseling Center of the Mid Willamette Valley um, has been in uh, existence since 1977. We're uh, approaching our 35th anniversary next February. And over 30 years, we've provided uh, community mental health services to individuals, couples, and families in Lynn and Benton counties. Uh, we have had a um, <clears throat> uh, particular outreach to uh, families uh, with lower incomes. And so we adjust our fees for services based upon clients' ability to pay. Um, and I'll talk more about that a little bit later. Um, the individual uh, couple and family counseling, what, we've, um, <clears throat> what we're asking for money for this next year is um, we've identified a need for uh, counseling to help people um, to provide them relief and recovery from depression and other psychological distress. <clears throat> um, and, um, and particularly for families who are um, economically disadvantaged, um, the, uh, depression and psychological distress can be um, especially, especially difficult for them to find care for. Um, the, um, the, the average income of our clients last year who received program services really also underscores the need for this, these um, low fee services. Um, the average uh, family who, uh, who used our services last year, uh, their income was just about 100% of the federal poverty guideline. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are requesting $6,300 um, this year, and we're requesting that money to provide 840 clinical hours of community mental health services. Um, these funds will allow us to adjust our fees based upon uh, the client's ability to pay. Um, our standard fee per session is $90. Um, our average discount is 64 so the average client who pays for services at our center is $26. Um, and when you compare the $26 they pay to the amount of money that um, uh, the state would pay uh, to provide um, uh, OHP services, that $26 is, only, is 75 to 82% less than what the state would pay for services that we can provide at the counseling center. Our unit cost per session is about $55, which is about 48 to 62% less than what the, o uh, what the OHP rates are as well. Uh, so we provide very con cost conscious and cost effective community mental health services. Um, the, uh, the grant this year will uh, help us to reach an additional 50, 15 to 25 uh, households in Benton County. And, um, our um, outlook for success is very high. Um, the, uh, the way we uh, track, on the back of your um, uh, form, you'll see our um, general program goals. These are kind of what we hope that the, the program will, be, will help our clients achieve. Um, but the way we, uh, be, but because every client's different, what, the way we uh, track success is we um, uh, monitor symptom reduction. And our program is very effective. Um, our, Self-report data uh, indicate that uh, clients experience a 70% uh, reduction in symptoms uh, as a result of participating in our program, and the average length of treatment is eight to nine sessions. If, we, um, if we're awarded a part of the request, if uh, we're only, let's say, uh, granted 50% uh, of what we asked for, then we would provide 50% of the services that we, that we, we um, we propose. The, um, the counseling center in the last year has um, increased its um, <clears throat> clinical diversity. We've hired uh, uh, three additional therapists. Uh, we've gone from three to six therapists, and we have four uh, trainees, uh, 
people training for a certification in pastoral counseling. So our clinical staff, we have now uh, 10 people on board. Um, we have a licensed clinical social worker, licensed marriage and family therapist, licensed professional counselor, certified pastoral counselor, alcohol and drug counselors. We have people who can provide um, uh, alcohol and drug counseling, play therapy, uh, in, in addition to um, individual couples and family counseling. And as we've grown over the last year, we've also, um, our, the need has grown as well. Uh, we, when we, <clears throat> we have a part-time staff, and so uh, it, the, the, the caseloads can uh, grow or, or shrink depending upon, you know, the need for services. And, um, and what we've noticed over time is that the, the caseloads just keep growing and growing and growing and growing. The more service we provide, it seems, the more the word is out there and that people uh, come to us for help. Um, I went to a meeting um, about a month ago with the local mental health directors uh, from OSU, Lynn Benton, Benton County Mental Health, Lynn County Mental Health, um, Community Outreach. And I asked them, um, where are the needs in the community? Um, and, they, and, and what they all agreed was that there is a need for, peop for services, uh, people to provide services for people who are not eligible for OHP, but don't have uh, private health insurance. So that kind of donut hole between uh, the Oregon Health Plan and private health insurance, the people that kind of fall in that middle. And they also said that uh, we need services um, that um, for people who need longer, uh, longer forms of care uh, that exceed the limits of brief therapy and um, brief therapy and no, forgetting the other, what I was going to say. Um, but anyway, uh, people who need longer, longer forms of treatment. And and we, although our average length of treatment is eight to nine sessions, we do have the capacity to provide uh, longer forms of um, longer forms of treatment. So. So, I'm not sure how much time we have left, but... Um, About two and a half minutes. Okay. If you have questions, I'd be happy to... Yes? Is your program um, faith-based at all, or do you require um, the patients to be of a certain religion? Is okay. We're, um, we provide services to people of all faith and no faith, and... Um, what we have to offer in terms of faith is that our counselors <clears throat> are all they're, all, they're all clinically trained, but um, they all also have either uh, formal or informal theological training. So we are able to help um, people um, uh, tap into their faith as a resource in the healing process. But that does not necessarily have to be a part of the therapy. If a person of no faith comes and does not want, you know, faith addressed in her or his treatment, then of course we would respect their, their wishes and, 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 and treat them um, with respect. Mm. Yes? The, um, the $6,300, it says that it's to offset the expense of 840 hours, but mm. then it says down at the bottom that if you got 50% of your request, you would only provide 50% of your services. Do you have other, other funding sources? Yes, we have... Um, we have, we're supported by um, um, over a dozen local um, religious congregations and, um, and then we have you know, our, our donors, our individual donors and corporate donors. Mm -hmm. You serve people from just the Corvallis area, is it both Lynn and Benton County? Uh, the center. The center um, serves both Lynn and Benton County, but we apply to Lynn County for um, the Lynn County United Way to help serve the people in Lynn County and the Benton County United Way to help serve the people in Benton County. So I think you said that you, you don't treat patients who are on the Oregon Health Plan. Uh, do you seek to sign them up for it before you see, it, see them? Or? Yeah. We don't, um, <clears throat> we don't, we don't, we don't, we uh, don't, we don't see people on the Oregon Health, Health Plan. We don't bill people on the. We don't. Uh, so we don't. We don't actually help them sign up for it, be, it because we don't just 
that's not a service that we provide um, to the community. And it's also, we can help them sign up for it, but we still wouldn't bill them for it. So um, to, 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 be, to receive mental health services under the Oregon Health Plan, you have to have the tier, the, the Oregon Health Plan Plus, there's standard and plus. And if you have Oregon Health Plan Plus, you're basically eligible for county services. And so we refer people to the county when they have OHP Plus. And that's time. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Did I miss anybody? <laughs>